The standing committees of the Manitoba Legislature are an important part of the work of the Assembly. Committees provide a unique and important opportunity for hearing feedback and other viewpoints from people all across our society about proposed legislation and also to allow MLAs a chance to review proposed legislation in greater detail. Standing committees also consider reports from organizations known as Crown Corporations as well as reports from the Office of the Auditor General, the Chief Electoral Officer and the Children's Advocate. Manitoba Standing Committees consider items referred to them by the Government House Leader and do not initiate their own work. Each Standing Committee has 11 MLAs serving on it. The number of MLAs from each party on a committee is related to the number of MLAs each party has in the House. Each meeting begins with the chairperson explaining the purpose of the meeting and sharing important information with members about the work the committee will be doing. For committees looking at legislation, the chairperson will begin with some opening remarks before letting the committee know whether or not there are members of the public who have signed up to speak to them about the legislation. Members of the public can sign up to speak to a bill at committee after it has been introduced and has passed the first reading stage in the House. Each presenter has 10 minutes to speak, followed by a five-minute question and answer session with MLAs. Once all presentations have been heard, the committee will begin a detailed review of the content of legislation, referred to as clause by clause. During this process, MLAs may ask questions of the minister sponsoring the bill, and they may also propose changes to the bill, known as amendments. Once an amendment is moved to a bill, the committee may then debate the amendment before voting on it. If the amendment is passed, that change becomes a part of the bill and ultimately a part of the law once a bill comes into force. For committees reviewing reports from Crown Corporations, after the Chair's introductory comments, the committee hears opening statements from the Minister in charge of the Crown Corporation, the opposition critic, and from representatives from the Crown Corporation. There are no public presentations at Crown Corporation meetings. For the remainder of such a meeting, MLAs ask questions of the Crown Corporation representatives and the Minister. Once questioning is finished, or the time for the meeting ends, the chairperson will ask if the report shall pass. If a report passes, the committee finishes its review of that item. If a report does not pass, that report can be referred back to the committee for more discussion at a future meeting. The Public Accounts Committee, or the PAC, serves as an oversight or review committee that examines how public money has been spent and tries to determine if those dollars should be used differently in the future. The PAC is the only committee where the chairperson is an MLA from the official opposition. All reports from the Office of the Auditor General are sent to the PAC for consideration and form the basis of its discussions. The PAC tries to discuss their business without partisan debate by looking at how various government departments operate and how they could be improved. At each PAC meeting, these witnesses, along with the Auditor General, answer questions from MLAs about how public money has been spent with the goal of identifying problems and solutions.